Hello and welcome to East Midlands Today, I'm Elise Chamberlain. First, the rough sleepers in one city who are off to university this winter. The University of Nottingham and a homelessness charity are setting up an emergency shelter to offer accommodation. Final preparations are being made to open their doors next week. Our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball has this report. Now time to bring you up to date on some of the other stories making the news in our region tonight. Now, an environmental project aimed at, yes, you guessed it, bumblebees in the Peak District has been crowned Inspirational Project of the Year by the National Lottery. Pollinating the Peak was set up five years ago to try to improve wildlife habitats and raise awareness. And as Carolyn Moses reports, word has definitely spread. Our great recognition for all of those involved. Well, that's all from the Late News team. Thank you for joining us tonight. It's time to take a look at the weather forecast now with Anna. And I don't think it was bumblebee weather today. It's a bit cold for them now, isn't it? Yeah, definitely <laughs> it is, Elise. But uh, we can look forward to them returning next year. It has been a cold start to November, quite chilly, but it will become a little bit milder towards the end of the week. But tomorrow, chilly breeze, dry, but with plenty of sunshine around. So out there at the moment, it's looking mostly dry. There's just a chance of one or two showers feeding in on the northerly wind as we go through the evening and overnight. But lengthy clear skies at the moment, just beginning to see a little bit more in the way of cloud, increasing as we go through the early hours, particularly across the east. Now, temperatures tonight down to about three degrees Celsius. Most of us will stay frost free. And with the breeze, we won't see any mist and fog tonight. But perhaps where we see the clearer skies out towards the west, you may just see a touch of frost here. So cloudy start for many of us with a few showers around first thing, but then just turning increasingly sunny with some lovely sunny spells around. But we do have this noticeable north to northwesterly wind and with temperatures of eight or nine degrees Celsius, it will be feeling quite chilly for the time of the year with those temperatures there and that wind feel. Well, what we're expecting over the next few days, let's take a look at your outlook and this will be followed by your national forecast. <laughs> 